In Tuesday's Financial Times, I'm writing about the relative merits of economics and history and standing up for historians. It seems to me that economists have been a little bit overconfident over the last 20 years and that they're still a bit too inclined to regard their discipline as, as something close to a science, something like physics, whereas it seems to me that actually it's a bit more like history, something which is attempts to make sense of society but that shouldn't be taken too seriously as something with predicative power and with all the fancy models that economists like to come up with. Now, I say that... Uh, with a degree of hesitancy, because I have next to me a very distinguished economist, my colleague Martin Wolf. Martin, what do you think of that argument? Well, I certainly agree with you that economics has been seriously oversold, and I think it's clear that we can't forecast very well. In fact, some of the best sort of analytical models suggest we can't forecast anything because all the news is already in the market, in the economy, so of course we can't forecast anything. But, in fact, it's not as impressive uh, as that. It's clear that we can't forecast anything. But that seems to me to go much too far to say that having some sort of rigorous framework of analysis for how the economy as a whole and even more bits of it work uh, is isn't to say that that isn't valuable, valuable seems to me uh, to be just wrong. You end up with just suggesting there are lots of completely discrete stories and no general rules at all. Are you really going to say that? No, well, obviously, I suppose if you're a policymaker, that's, that's paralysing. You can't say that. But on the other hand... I've been struck by the way that economists, uh, even those who've, who've been inclined to say, yes, yeah, something went badly wrong, the way they've reacted. There was an article I was uh, read by Joseph Stiglitz where he said, you know, we economists...